Yo, BXZ Mayor in this thing, recording this jump right here. And I got some Infinite Warfare beta gameplay for y'all. Now this ain't the best gameplay, but I'll get to that in a minute. So today I wanted to make a quick video giving my thoughts on the first weekend of the beta. Now I only got a chance to play for about a day and a half, but I didn't get a chance to rank all the way up and try out everything. So I didn't have to deal with all the matchmaking issues people experienced during the first day. But even then, Infinity War still has some work to do in that regard. The wait to get into a match and even a lobby itself is terribly long. And when people leave a game or lobby, it wouldn't fill back up most times. Although I think they worked on that near the end as I eventually started getting put in games in progress. Now outside of the technical aspects, the game isn't a total abomination, but there's still quite a few other issues I feel need to be looked at for the game to be able to hold my attention for the full year. So let's start out with the weapons. They feel pretty balanced for the most part from what I played, with one exception I'll get into later. None of the payload weapons really feel that overpowered, and they don't seem to provide the free no skill kills that some of the specialists in Black Ops 3 provided. The strongest of these is probably the Equalizer, which is basically dual machine pistols with an insane fire rate. The claw sounded scary when I first heard about the ricocheting bullets, but I haven't killed nor have I been killed around the corner the entire time. I played the beta. Another thing I liked was how I could use weapons I haven't unlocked yet in gun game. I saw a nice variety of weapons in the kill cam too, although the Karma 45 stuck out a little bit. However, when I used it, I wasn't dropping people with it as fast as I was getting dropped by it. The same went for a lot of weapons in the game. Something feels kind of off at the time to kill compared to the time to die. I'm not sure if it's lag comp or what, but it often feels like I have to land one or two bullets too many to finish off an enemy, while I seem to die a lot quicker than I can get a kill. The hit detection does feel good, although the hitboxes feel a bit smaller and less forgiving, but that in particular isn't necessarily a bad thing for me personally. Now let's talk about the movement system. It's similar to Black Ops 3. You have the thrust jumping, wall running, and sliding, but it feels a lot weightier than Black Ops 3, and movement in general is slower and more in line with the older games. Whether that's good or bad is up to you, but it definitely takes some getting used to after playing a ton of Black Ops 3. However, the maps for the most part don't seem explicitly designed to take advantage of the movement like Black Ops 3's maps. They feel like a cross between Modern Warfare 3's building heavy design, which makes aerial streaks almost useless, and Advanced Warfare's openness, which makes it very easy to get shot in the back. Treyarch's strict, flat, three-lane design is gone, as there's a ton of routes you can take to get around, as well as a bit of verticality with the buildings you can jump into, so it feels like you always have to be on edge watching back and forth. That, along with the time to kill issue I was talking about earlier, is why in this gameplay I'm kind of just sitting back trying to catch people off their spawns and people who are running through those hallways by the train. I even get all my streaks in this gameplay, but besides the UAV, they do absolutely nothing. Now the Scorchers, I can understand. It could have easily just been bad placement, but for the Warden to cost 1100 points and not get a single kill, that's just unacceptable. I'm not sure if it's just the buildings or if the streak isn't aggressive enough, but something needs to be done. I just hope that it was either a fluke or that the score streaks get tuned to be more powerful. But on the other side of that coin, there's something that needs to be tuned to be less powerful, and that's the sniping. The quick scoping and no scoping are absolutely out of control in this game. There's literally no point to having a shotgun class in the game when the snipers can do this. You are now in the lead. You no longer have the lead. Even flanking and shooting first is rendered useless, and I don't care what anyone says, snipers should not be viable weapons at close range. That's like saying that shotguns should be viable when aiming down a long corridor. It doesn't make any sense. When even beast players like the Marker J and Captain Shock are saying the snipers are a problem, then you know it's ridiculous. And another thing that's ridiculous, although a whole lot more minor, is these camos. Some of them look pretty cool, like stud and murdered out, but most of them just look flat out lazy, like someone took the gun, dipped it in paint primer, and called it a day. I really hope Infinity War takes the time out to improve these, as well as the menu itself. I know it's just a beta, but the menu options have regressed from Black Ops 3. 
The game doesn't show my nat type and there's nowhere I can see my ping numbers in game. The mute all option is gone. There doesn't seem to be a way to preview the different gestures and I can't even rotate my rig model when I'm looking at the different gear. And even though they're optional, I have no idea why they thought film grain and motion blur were a good idea. But hey, at least I can skip the Activision and Studio intros, so props for bringing that back, I guess. So all in all, Infinite Warfare has a decent enough core. It's still the same base Call of Duty gameplay for better or worse, but there are a lot of things that need to be addressed in order for this to be a truly good game. Infinity War has a lot to prove this time around, and they need to knock it out the park. So I'm hoping that all of this is taken care of by the next beta weekend, or else this is gonna be a short year for COD. BAZ Mayor, and I'm out. Peace.